Now, I know that you have a passion for marine life. Of course, we were out in California together. What a great time. For Big Blue Live. Well, Miranda has been to tackle a deep-sea death trap off the Cornish coast. Off our coasts, there's danger lurking beneath the waves. Lost or abandoned fishing equipment can cause massive damage to wildlife and marine habitats. But it's also a danger to fishermen and their vessels, and also to any divers who come across it, like these guys who recently discovered a huge net right here on the Manacles Reef in Cornwall. The rocky pinnacles of the reef are a marine conservation zone, home to some of our most beautiful aquatic species. A lost net could cause huge damage here, so local dive operator Mark Milburn is leading an operation to remove it. We're over the reef at the moment, where exactly is the net? The net's the same above the boy over there. It's a trawl net, so the mouth of the net is probably maybe 10, even 15 metres wide, and then the length of the whole trawl is probably at least 20 metres long. Wow, so it is vast. It is a big, big net, yes. It's already smashed off the, the, the pink sea fans, the, the hard corals, which are a rare species. Mm. Um, all the anemones and any life that was underneath them, because it just stretched across it. This will be a complex operation requiring experienced divers. The water is murky and tidal currents are strong, so there's only a short time window between the tides. And the base of the net is deep, so dives must be short because of the risk of decompression sickness. Just swimming towards the net at the moment. And here it is, and it's absolutely vast. It's standing like a tower in front of me. And it's a huge piece of net. It's absolutely massive. Look at that. You can see these boys that would have kept it afloat. And it's clear that this would be here for a very long time if the divers didn't take it away. It's not biodegradable. It's made of strong material. It's some sort of plastic. It's going to be here for a long time. A lost net like this can become a death trap for marine life. Once caught, animals will drown, starve, or be eaten by other wildlife. Mark gets to work. He attaches inflatable bags to make sure the net will rise straight up once it's freed, rather than drifting away. Now he and his buddy are ready to start to cut. The net is trapped around 30 metres below the surface. They won't have much time to identify which bits of the net to cut in the dark and murky water. So that is my cue to get out of the water now. Um, Mark's just about to cut the net and we have no idea how quickly it's going to rise to the surface so I just need to get out of here. 28 metres down, the net is grinding against the fragile reef. Mark has about 20 minutes to cut the net free. If he doesn't complete the task and only weakens the net, then it may break free and drift off to wreak havoc elsewhere. But as he perseveres, the net starts to shift. Mark hits a problem. One of the ropes holding the net is made from wire and it's beginning to blunt his knife. He has to quickly cut around the wire to free the rest of the net. A few final swipes and at last the net is released. Here we go, here we go, here we go. All the boys are coming to the surface, look at that. So that is the net breaking the surface of the water. A successful mission. Now all we have to do is tow the net back to shore, careful to avoid it snagging on any of the submerged rocks. On a nearby beach, the local inshore fisheries and conservation authority are ready and waiting to take it away.